A local baseball team that started as a form of recreation for local Japanese Americans survives and even thrives after World War II internment. And that team is celebrating its 100th season this summer. But with a dwindling Japanese American population in Lodi, this may be its final curtain call. Fox 40's Wina Nakano has more on the Lodi Templars in tonight's Fox 40 special report. Run to the run, run to the run. Long before this run, catch, hit, or pitch, a proud Lodi tradition was born. Same game, same team, just different players. This is the story of the Lodi Templars. One, two, three, Lodi, Lodi. let's go. We went to every game. Irene Fudoka may be 95 years old, but she still remembers all the highlights. Whenever one of Globe game came, they used to argue a lot. <laughs> At the turn of the century, the Grape City was home to a vivacious Japan town. In 1915, Japanese farmers and their families created their own baseball team, now known as the Templars. Back in the old days, Japanese guys couldn't play the major sports with all the Caucasian guys. America's pastime quickly became their pastime until a timeout was called by the President of the United States. A date which will live in infamy. Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, sent people of Japanese ancestry to rural internment camps. Some 800 families from Lodi, including the Fudoukas, were sent to Stockton Assembly Center, then to Arkansas. It was so cold yanked from their homes and relocated to a foreign place. Their only escape was the diamond. They had nothing else to do, so they, they played baseball. When the war ended, many families moved back to Lodi, but found their homes had been sold, vandalized, even condemned by the county. It took a few years, but somehow Lodi's team reassembled. It's almost the idea of going back to the way it was you know, before camp. But as the younger generation moved to larger cities, Japanese American baseball teams from smaller towns like Marysville, Walnut Grove, even Stockton eventually folded. So how did Lodi's team survive for 100 years? Many attribute that to one very special person. Mark Yamashita. For six decades, the World War II veteran from Lodi never missed a game. A modest but skilled mechanic married to the game of baseball. I'm not sure. 73-year-old Dennis Morita played with and for Machia Mashta. To this day, Morita gets recognized as being a part of Lodi's legendary three-peat championship team. We won the state championship in 1962, three and four. For decades, Yamashita did everything to keep the team going, from recruiting players from nearby cities to paying for all the team's expenses. The city of Lodi even named the diamond at Kofu Park Yamashita Field. Four years ago, Macha Mashta died. He was 86. The Lodi Templars were out of a manager, money, and hope. But even in death, Yamashta believed in the Templars. The lifelong bachelor had left his life savings to the team. Macha Mashta left a $100,000 legacy. Money is no longer an issue. Recruitment still is. This year's 100th season may be its last, unless a new generation of ball players comes through. Oh, Whatever happens, the players, past and present, say they are ready for the team's fate. For them, it's been an honor to be a part of a Lodi legacy. When you think of 100 years of baseball for a Lodi community, the Japanese community is something to think about, you know and kind of be proud of. In Lodi, Rena Nakano, Fox 40 News. And for the first time in eight years, the Templars will host the Japanese American Baseball State Tournament in Lodi, September 5th through the 7th. If you're interested in playing for the Lodi Templars, head to our website, fox40.com. You'll find team information and bonus features.